Here are some quick tips to help you paint like a pro. It's recommended that you always keep your paint zoom the same distance from the surface you're painting as you go along and overlap your strips to avoid dead space. We suggest 8 to 10 inches is a good distance and should give you the maximum paint width. Paint a thin coat first, wait a few minutes for it to dry, and then go over it with a thicker coat. This will result in a more smooth, even paint job. There should be very little movement in your wrist, otherwise the paint flow will be uneven. A technique most commonly used by professional painters is the crisscross technique. This just means spraying the paint in horizontal strips, then adjusting the air cap, and crossing over these strips with vertical strips. Always make sure your passes are smooth and your speed should stay constant. This will make painting even a very large wall fast and easy. Right here in the back of your paint zoom gun you got this nifty little dial. This adjusts the intensity of the paint flow from the gun. You turn it clockwise to decrease the paint flow. You turn it counterclockwise to increase the paint flow. If you're spraying closer to your surface, your paint flow needs to be lighter. And if you're farther away, you should increase the paint flow. This will give you maximum coverage. It's recommended to paint in sections about 20 inches long and avoid stopping and starting if you can. Now, as I mentioned before, you rarely need to thin varnish or stain. And what I've done now is uh, take a little bit of stain, put it into my paint zoom container. Got my handy dandy goggles right here. Always remember your eye protection. And now I'm ready to take this unfinished chair and turn it into a beautiful rustic looking piece. Here we go. 